new model three. So let, first we gotta do this. I think that's better. We gotta look at this stock. I feel like the steering wheel's smaller, at least the feel, it looks smaller. All right, and this goes in, she said the cup holder. Is it here? Cup holder. Let's put it in the cup holder and see what happens. Okay, choose direction. So we're over here. Um, oh yeah, I'm a fan of that. All right, uh, blinkers are here. Uh, this is camera, autopilot, wipers, voice commands. Horn is regular. Okay, yeah, autopilot is, I believe, pressing in. We're going to test that. It claims to be tear resistant and leak proof. We're going to test that. Speed limited to 85 miles an hour. Not even going to approach that. So, okay, blinker. First time. Instinctively went for the blinker. Feedback isn't bad. I'm not upset about it. I didn't even move the seat. Of course, you know, you get the six footer disease to where pretty much anything you get in, it's already set for you anyway. Um, yeah, this is great. Regen is extremely similar um, I really feel like the end of the pedal right right as you release is a little bit more refined let's you know the blinker is once you get used to it I'm already used to it it took one blink to where I instinctively reach for the stock what do you think 79 south and then turn around oh yeah all right let's get it let's get out there and get it um, yeah because I want to test the Autopilot and all that. Maybe it has acceleration boost. <laughs> right, we'll give her a shot here. What's it got? Anything? Oh my, it has a lot. So uh, you don't you don't have to push the pedal very hard to get it either. Um, but it's nice. It's linear, smooth, and uh, it's everything you want. Uh, as far as the handling, let's take this thing. Let's get in here. Yeah, it's nice. Feels a little more planted than the other one. Uh, the suspension feedback, I feel like I have more feedback. Like, I know it's supposed to be a more comfortable suspension, but I also think I've got a little bit more feedback. So how do we cancel the blinker? You press it again? Okay, so to engage the blinker, you're gonna press down, and to disengage, you're gonna press again to cancel. So that's how that works. Uh, Autopilot, here we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Yep. You just press it once. So it looks like we have a uh, single tap for traffic aware cruise. Double tap. It says, okay. Auto steer not enabled. So I need to go into settings to do that. Uh, we'll have to pull over and do that in a second, which we will do. Uh, I don't know. Chris, tell me about the ride quality. How does it feel over there? It feels much smoother than, than my Model 3, which is a 19. So, and it's definitely a lot quieter i feel and the doors are much more solid as probably heard on the the entry to the car so overall quite like it i wish it had the uh tax credit and <laughs> might upgrade but i have to hold off on that the problem with the model 3 is that it does have that catl lfp pack which is 100 percent chinese and will never qualify for a tax credit and the tax credit is determined on a per model basis, not a per trim. So the reason why the Model 3's lost the credit and they had to do this refresh was because that LFP pack is so popular in the standard range that it just outweighs all of the percentages required by the government. So uh, you just, you're not gonna get a tax credit. So it was really smart for them to roll out the new model and uh, continue to generate an interest in getting the Model 3 because obviously right now the deal is the Model Y. You know, 35000 and change after the tax credit. Also, uh, $0.41 cents per mile factoring it in, which is less than a RAV4 and a CRV. Uh, I, I agree with you a thousand percent, Chris. It is smoother, it is quieter, and it just, it just feels more solid. Man, I really am a fan of the Model 3. I mean, I'm a big fan. My wife has the LFP 21, uh, really early edition of the 20 of the LFP. So early, it doesn't have CCS capability. But uh, yes, Chris, Chris going to give you a nice demo while I give you some commentary. I feel really comfortable in this thing. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm the door switches look more premium than they previous. do. They're bigger. You notice that they're yeah. like one and a half times the yeah. size. It feels more solid. It looks like it's, like it's like a gloss plastic in the previous ones, but right. Yeah, this like, is nice. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Way more than you ever need. And this is the, you can tell from the, the pull that it's not a dual motor. So it still has that same standard range feel. So let's pull back over here. And get back in behind. And then we'll, we can go ahead and do a little cruising. Yeah, just as smooth as can be. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel out the autopilot, which is just another tap on the circular button. It's just another tap here to disengage, but we'll get off the highway and enable autopilot, see how that behavior is. Chris and I were both commenting on the phantom braking, which just isn't a thing anymore. Tesla's really figured out a way to mitigate that almost completely um, as far as having to deal with it. What do you think? Let's just, we'll go right. I am having to look down to engage the blinker. Okay, you feel that regen? Oh yeah. That's that cold battery regen. You get the same thing on the, the older Model 3 when it's when the battery's not warmed up, you get a little uh, there's a little hesitation on the regen. So that was definitely the same experience there. Let's get down the road here and turn right. Hit the yellow. Still a little turning radius check here. Oh, much better. Wow, that's better. Wow. I didn't even, I didn't even push it. Didn't even push it. Wow. Doug DeMuro just did a review of this car. And other than pointing out the fact that he knows nothing about it, he was complaining about the heated seats not being able to be available down in this area here, which you obviously can add. All you have to do is go into the menu and drag it. But other than uh, kind of showing his ignorance about electric cars and especially Tesla in general, um, he did make a really good point of saying it's like the ultimate utility knife of a car. And uh, I can't help but agree, this is the ultimate commuter car. If you have a lot of miles to put on a vehicle, this is the vehicle to do it in. It's cheap to own. It's cheap to refuel, and the driver assistance makes everything easier. I might just head down the interstate again here and let you test it and kind of give your opinion. And you can tell me about the autopilot because I'm pretty satisfied with the drive at this point already. Um, it is a quiet car, is it not? Absolutely. It's like S-Class Mercedes just, quiet. I can't get over the turning radius, how much improvement it is. Yeah, you're going to... From the go, worst, one of the worst cars, turning radius, to on par with anything else. Yeah, it's 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 average now, which, I mean, was kind of the only below average thing about a Model 3 was that you just, you had, you, it was a three-point turn almost always. <laughs> there was so much, so much of that. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we've warmed up the battery enough to with that regen. Hardware four is very obvious as well. Um, the resolution is very high. I don't really notice the difference in a screen bezel. Uh, maybe I'm not enough of a Tesla enthusiast. Uh, Chris, do you notice? Is that a noticeable amount of? I feel like the map is a little clearer. Um, okay. To me, but it's not super noticeable. Yeah, I just don't like. They say this bezel is. Thinner. Yeah, the bezel I can't tell. But the, it maybe looks a little bit clearer at the resolution. Yeah, definitely. The camera, especially like like this right here. Um, I feel like the. It's the colors. Like, I feel like any of the cameras on the older, on hardware three or before, I feel like the colors just washed out. Like, it's not, 
there's not a whole lot of definition and uh, contrast, but got a nice Alcantara kind of. I really thing. do. Really I like nice. this. This is, you know, this is almost exactly the same material as the Fisker Ocean Sport yeah. seats. It's kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna do a hard regen. Nothing, nothing to shake you, but let's see if that battery's warmed up a little bit. Yeah, and it has. So it's no longer doing that. Um, rest area, Chris. What do you think? Let's do a rest. And we'll we'll trade. I'll I'll give you the key, and you can give me the camera, and we'll get your impressions. Uh oh. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for because he just drove all the way to. We were at the the Tesla service center. He was getting some service to his vehicle, so um, he's just done a nice hour plus drive in a 19 Model 3 long range, and uh, now he gets to try this 24 standard range. And uh, we'll just hand it over. Yeah, I'm a fan of this button. It's it's definitely bigger. And then, of course, Doug DeMiro completely didn't even notice that. We're switching drivers. This is also the Stealth Gray. So this is a new color. And this one's pretty dirty, but um, the other one they have there is really clean, and it's it's a nice color, it really is. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, the buttons here on the pad instead of like just a scroll wheel. Basically, you got button for like the camera. You can customize it on the old software, but or the old models. But you got a dedicated button here. Nice wiper function here. Got this touch to talk deal, and I guess that's autopilot, autopilot is autopilot straight here. in. You press this button here. Okay. That's auto, that would be your autopilot. Okay. And you got the brights there, the blinkers, of course. And that's, okay. Okay, I touched, okay. Uh, okay. He's ready to, he's already buckling up. <laughs> Let's see if get, what kind of goodies this is. All right, so he, yeah, do your auto steer beta, that way uh, autopilot's enabled. I was getting navigate on all the No, that's not. It does not. <laughs> that's that's your enhanced autopilot, which it doesn't have. Oh, it does have that. It's got the. Uh, I think it's got that because I think traffic light. Yeah, it'll it, the, even the new case. even the current ones have that. I see. I wonder if it has sports. Yeah. This is just the steering. Okay. So, so. All right. Oh, Whoa. he did it. He, <laughs> oh, he already did oh, I'm it. Failing. I'm failing. No, I did it too. I did it too. There's a PRND right here. Hey, there it was. Okay. There we go. So it's got to go on the, the it is not the pad. I will say this holds this coffee cup and the ocean. You really got to slam it in there to get it to work. Hey, we got it to go. Both of us own a Model 3. And neither one of us could get it to move. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. So we'll get Chris's impressions here as we exit the uh, rest area. He's got autopilot, so I'm gonna we'll get his impressions on that. And I'm kind of I'm kind of pumped to see what what you think of it because you just did that nice Bridgeville drive. You know, try to aim for some potholes to see. Trying see to get the oh well. I mean, I let's get on the highway. Bad. We'll definitely find some out there. Oh, yeah. We're pothole spotters. for one on the blinker yeah yeah good job there we go Ooh. yeah you notice it doesn't take a lot of pedal work to get there well that's true the gates is there's one yeah okay and that's I think it's got it. I think it's oh. engaged yeah okay so a single tap single tap it's enabled yeah okay I gotta like I like this single tap idea yeah. and then all you would need to engage traffic aware crews would just be jiggle the steering wheel and yep. you'd be out of the autopilot yep. oh it's it feels like it's much less uh wheel traffic to do to disengage it i feel like the older models you have to yank the heck out of it okay I barely touched it i am curious to see if you just get tapped that would be a nice improvement if i still don't think they have the haptics yet that would be nice so or even just less you have to almost yank it out of the lane to get it disengaged. Right. See how long it takes. That's a software thing. Right. How's it feeling? 
Oh, really? Some does. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, I would be very tempted to have a tax credit. Maybe one day. Yeah, this will run you 38 oh, for the Let's rear see. wheel drive. Very, I mean, that was almost no movement at all to. So very to sensitive. Clear. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good I, thing. I must want to try just a tap next time. Yeah, I mean, this, this is really nice. And I think there is the ambient light feature. I don't know. Yes, indeed. And so they're not a new one. Oh, right. we can maybe toy box toy it. Box. All right. Toy box, light show, boom box, tracks, romance, huh. rainbow road. It's not in there. It's got to be there. I'm sure. Well, okay. Let's go to pedals charging autopilot lights. lights oh baby accent lights oh yeah look at this oh, we got the whole oh man we can be just oh, look at that okay there, there it is yeah that's awesome oh yeah baby yeah. that's, that's you can just be you can be you can go all the way to flavor town whatever flavor you want it's a party trick but i do like it it's neat i mean you know the, the kids sell these things anyway, man. The kids are all over these cars. They love the games and the big screen and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's just another step in that direction. I, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, Fisker Ocean has, uh, obviously, the ambient light, but it's just a single color. And so uh, that's nice to have from the factory, just be able to do that. But this is, I just did it again, and it's very light touch required to disengage this. So it's much improved. It's not quite capacitive, but... So I just, I mean, I oh, barely, that's wonderful. Barely. Very, very, very light. That's great. Almost there to maybe just tracking your eyes or just capacitive, but it's a great improvement. Yeah, it really is. We think of the steering wheel. Do you, you notice I the like, difference? I mean, I'm a fan. Yeah, you got the much sleeker, slimmer profile. It says Tesla instead of the T and nice buttons there. You got off on Carnegie here. It's the steering wheel feels really good. It's pretty smooth turning. I like the steering wheel. I do too. I like that matte or that kind of leather kind of feel. I don't. I it's the it's only. Works. It's the only vehicle with of with that type of material that feels. Uh, I won't. I won't say premium, but adequate. Uh, the ID4 material, I'm a little bit turned off by. Uh, just drove an Ionic 5 recently. It also has that same type of material, but it doesn't have quite as. You got a blind spot there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. It is, uh, it's not the most noticeable, but it is there. Right oh, there. wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very nice. You could easily miss it, but it'll catch your peripherals. Listen to it. There's almost no sound in here, it is so quiet. I haven't seen the big Pennsylvania, West Virginia potholes to attack. Back home, probably be bouncing all over the place. Good this way. This. Are we two for two on the blinker? I think so. All right. Well, this was worth doing. I, I'm having fun here in the new oh, Model yeah. 3. This corner's really nice. Oh, we got real No body roll for that. That was a 270-degree turn at 45 miles an hour. No hesitation. A 270-degree on-ramp, I should say. Speaking of turns, he hasn't had a chance to test the radius yet, which is, that's the next test we'll have to do. And then I think we've pretty much nailed it, man. And this is really nice. Okay. Testing the wipe. Yeah. It's really nice. Like that little feature right there. Windshield wipers are quiet. It is high resolution, and look at that. That's really high res. Yeah, big, big fans. Oh, well, that, I mean, that, that was pretty pothole. That was a nice pothole, and really just a little, little bump. I was, it was on my side, and it handled it well. Um, I didn't even see it coming, and <laughs> well, it had a nice little thunk. And yeah, it was good. It was good. So, 
this car while it is extremely nice doesn't quite make sense if you're in the market for a tesla because this is a three thousand dollar more spec than a model y rear wheel drive this would this can be had for about the same price as a model y long range just under a model y long range and this is the standard range rear wheel drive model 3 so it's a it's tough to be able to to justify grabbing this when the tax credit puts the model y in such a competitive position i don't know chris what would you do if you had if you had 40 if you had 45k would you get this or would you get the y I get the Y just because of the utility and not for much more. You can get the uh, third row, which is, granted, it's very small, but if you have little kids, which I do, it, it's very practical. But uh, the, the refresh, the interior, the how it handles, the way it looks, it is it is uh, much better. And I think they're going to be coming out eventually with the um, uh, Model Y refresh similar, but that's probably one or two years away. The other thing, too, to consider is the interest market. You know, you've got basically a 6% borrow from almost any financial institution. So that does add a significant amount of cost. That's like six grand in interest over 60 months. So there's also that to consider. It does take a little getting used to me. Getting that used blinker, to it's, right? It's not bad, but yeah, I do have to look down like try the right one. Yeah. Oh man, this is, they got everything over here. They got a Five Guys and a Blaze Pizza. They got a Top Golf. Oh, okay. All right, so let's, do, let's do, do me a turning radius test before we turn it in. And then you can tell me what you think about. Let's see, we'll get one of these parking lots here. Yeah, there we go. Right Yeah, this will be a good test. <laughs> I don't think I could have made that. Oh my! It just God. keeps on turning. Wow. Let's see this one. If I cut it this late, my car wouldn't have made it. Look, made wow. Oh my gosh! Now that that is nice. Yeah, it's like Honda Civic. That's really nice. That's a nice looking screen though, in the back seat. Otherwise it's uh, pretty pedestrian, not a lot going on, but I do have the dual pane glass. It's up the cold. It's the, of course you do have the power lift gate and you know, this Model 3 trunk never disappoints for the size of the car. I do like the Tesla writing in that, how it spells that. Um, all right, Chris, give me the back door sound. That's a solid thought. No, no window rattle, no nothing. Sounds like well, well built. Yeah, man. I think the only drawback here is the tax credit, right? No tax credit. Yep. They had it. We'd be like, hey, had to do it. Sign, it. sign me up, yeah. right? Okay. Model 3 refresh. Nice little test drive today. If you're happy with the price, I can't do anything but recommend this car. If you're happy, if you're satisfied with the price, this is where it's at, under 40k. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.